Okay. Hey y'all. Right. So, um, a little bit about what's going on. Um, let's see. It was on Thursday. Well, this past Thursday, which was the nineteenth of this month. I had an appointment with the oncologist and it happened to be like three month, three month follow up from the radiation therapy, which you'd think after three months, you'd be like in the clear and really, really nothing to like uh, think about or do or, you know. Um, I know that like two weeks after the radiation therapy, I had like wicked sore throat and, you know, it was like pretty hard to swallow. And, you know, even like, you got you those, know, uh, Say so like uh, like Tylenol, all those capsules that are kind of the elongated shaped ones. You know, <laughs> try to like you know take a couple of those and just come right back up. So yeah, it was like <laughs> wicked sore throat, kind of hard to swallow. That only lasted for maybe two weeks after, and I was okay, and I was in the clear. I mean, it was okay, but yeah. But this time, the timing was like uh, the timing was actually pretty good. It's like here I am, three months later, and I was having some really serious shortness of breath that seemed to be like coming really easy and kind of severe. Well, not really severe, but it's like, it really, I was really feeling it. And then, uh, um, and then, then, uh, yeah, then three months later, there's this appointment with the doctor and they were saying that, yeah, it could be three months later and you'll you'll feel some effects from the radiation therapy such as pneumonitis which is inflammation in the lungs <coughs> when i saw the doctor i was just starting to get over it it was it wasn't as bad but they explained to me that yes um three months later yeah you could be feeling some effects such as inflammation in your lungs they also explained that, yeah, it's it's kind of compounded with the fact that you had immunotherapy because, you know, it's your your T cells can get a bit trigger happy and go after the good cells and yeah, it's so it kind of exacerbates the effect. But anyways, um doing not too bad now. Um and I forgot I can't remember if I asked the doctor, like like this this oncologist deals with radiation therapy. I uh you know, because I, I, at first I thought that, oh no, like, you know, before I had the appointment, I, I was thinking to myself, you know, thinking, oh crap, I hope this, uh, the tumors aren't getting really big and growing really big and causing me to like, you know, have severe shortness of breath. And, and I can't remember if I asked them about that and, or they might have said, it's, it's just the radiation therapy, nothing to worry about. I can't remember if we discussed that. but. I do remember that, you know, as we were wrapping things up and standing there, the doctor went back to his office and the nurse was there, I was talking to the nurse, and then, then the other oncologist walked by, and I do remember that conversation. I, I said to her that, yeah, I was, uh, what was the condition and this and that, and we talked about it, and I said I was a bit worried about the, you know, the tumors maybe getting bigger, and, you know, and she must, most, she, most of these, she, she more or less said, you know, it's not not to worry about the, the tumors getting growing or something like that. And it's more than likely, yeah, it's from the radiation therapy, <coughs> you know, compounded with immunotherapy. And I'm doing okay now. Um, so, so yeah, I'm doing okay now. But all I got, what is it? Four, four, five, six, so two weeks from now, I got a... CT scan coming up, so <laughs> let's hope that we get good news. You know, the the best news would be like shrinkage. That would be good to hear. If they say no change in size, I can live with that. Fingers crossed. Let's hope we get good results uh, on the uh, CT scan. So yeah, it's about all that's happening so far. And, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Was it uh, this past Saturday? What was it about? Uh, about three days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at a friend's place. Yeah, I rode my bicycle there. It was like about 
it's at least uh, at least a mile. You know, I just put it in low gear and just you know slowly take my time and I'm going a little faster than walking speed, so I don't overdo it. And I was okay. And then, uh, and then, I was at my friend's place, and then a little while later we went down to another uh, to her friend's place, and her friend was having a barbecue. No, not a barbecue. A backyard bonfire. And so we were just two blocks away, so we walked down there. I hung around for a bit, you know, just trying not to breathe in any smoke, and, you know. But then, after a while, I got on my bike, rode home, and I didn't think I was going to make it home. It was like, I had, after a couple blocks, I had to stop, and I'm like, <sighs> I was like, I mean, it was serious, and I was getting kind of worried. And I had to stop maybe every, like, every two or three blocks, and I was like, you know, I finally got home, and I was thinking, I'm like, I'm freaking out, like, what the hell is going on here? So I get inside, I sit back, relax, and I thought, I'm thinking, the bonfire. Even though I was trying to keep a distance away from it and not breathe in any smoke, I must have breathed in a little bit of a bonfire smoke or something like that, and that's probably what did it. And I guess my lungs are really susceptible to uh, things like that, so... So, yeah, the next day, in the afternoon, it was sunny, it was a bit cool, got on my bike just, just to see how I am. I started riding and I thought, I'm okay now. Okay, I think I'm back to normal. So, <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, stay away from bonfires. Yeah, so yeah. Other than that, uh, we'll see how things go. All right.